Hi guys, this is one of those little random projects that I've had in mind for quite a while and never got round to. This is just one of my spare uh, toy grade radio transmitters that I use for quite a few of the toys that I pick up in charity shops. It's just forwards, backwards, left, right. LED comes on to let you know it's working. But it's got no on-off switch, and that annoys me, because quite often I leave these in a bag, because I have a couple of dozen transmitters, and if you just leave them in a bag with the batteries in, quite often they get left so they're actually transmitting, which can be quite annoying when they're in a bag transmitting, and I'm trying to sort out another toy car and it's not doing what I expect it to do because it's picking up a random signal from the bag. Which is a long introduction to say that what I intend to do is put a switch in it. This is just a spare switch that I've taken out of something else. So we're going to have a look inside and see if there's any way that we can fit it. Until I've actually had a look inside, I don't know how I'm going to do it. That's a good start. We've just got a straightforward wire goes down to the battery compartment. So as long as I can find somewhere to fit that, I can just desolder that from there, solder it onto one of the legs there, and use the other bit of wire to go back to where it was. And we've intercepted the uh, positive feed. The next question is, where's a good place to put this? It would look nice if it was right in the middle there, but there's not going to be enough space under there to fit it, because that's where the battery compartment is. It would fit easily just there, but it will be in the way. So probably... on the edge there. If I just melt a little hole in there, long enough for it to slide up and down, that should be ideal. I could cut it or melt it. I'll have a little think. With a bit of luck, I could just nip it out with the cutters. Mm. A nasty feeling that might crack too much. It looks like I can just get in there with a knife. I shouldn't be doing this straight onto the table, I should have a cutting mat, mat underneath. Just in case it suddenly gives way.
can see that. I'm having trouble with the lighting tonight. I think that'll do though. Next question is do we hot glue it in place which is bound to fail? Or do we put some little nuts and bolts through there? Well I don't know if that'll last, but I've actually used super glue. And at the moment that's staying in place. If nothing else it will hold it in place and I can always put some hot glue over the outside to give it a bit more rigidity. Right, have I left myself enough space to get in there and re-solder those wires? Notice one of them's fallen off anyway. There must have been some pretty ropey wire. Obviously, it would have been better to have soldered the wires on before I put the switch in place. Right, which way do we want it to be on? I reckon up for on and down for off, so that if it does get knocked when it's in a box, it'll get knocked down, I would have thought. <laughs> Just realised I didn't check the switch actually works. That'll be fun, and that put it all together and then find the switch doesn't work. It could well have been thrown in my random box because it was broken or faulty. a bit first, am I? Button, nothing happens. Push it to the on position. Okay, so we've got an on off switch. So is that all going to fit in there? Okay, so there we go. We've got an on-off switch. Probably not the ideal position, but that will do for me. Right. Actually, I think that probably is all right now, because on the top there, I quite often have my fingers up there anyway, so I might accidentally knock it up there. Put it down there. That looks ideal. Something to do on a rainy day, like you can probably hear outside.
at the moment, this is the controller I use on that fast lane um, Jeep Cherokee. Hmm. Did I put that the right way round or not? If I push it into something, then that might push it up and on. Having second thoughts now. <laughs> I'll leave it like that, see how we get on. But I'm beginning to think I might have done that the wrong way round. If I push that into my pocket, it's going to switch it on, isn't it? If it catches on the edge of my pocket. Yeah, I think I'm going to take it apart and swap those wires over and do it the other way round. But you don't need to see me do that, we've already done that. Let's just unscrew it, swap the wires over and have it the other way round. There we go, I swapped it over now, so when I push it in my pocket, when I'm not using it, it's going to push the switch up, which is turning it off, and when I want to use it, it's a positive, pull it down, and then it works. So in my pocket, it will be off, take it out, push the switch down, yeah. That seems to make more sense. Yeah, that'll do. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily. So don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.